I don't have to necessarily be in here if we No, it's good. Suck. No. Yeah. Mark the Movie Man here, final cut in the most interesting interview place probably on the planet. And I'm here with Adam and Lee, and they are also part of the Deadweight family. Now, why don't you just uh, introduce yourselves, tell sure. us uh, what part you played in the movie. Uh, I'm Adam Arlett. I co-wrote and co-directed Deadweight. I'm Lee Barone. I was a producer, script editor, and I acted in a small role. Oh, and location scout. Location and location scout. Very key. J Jack of all trades. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, uh, why don't you tell us just a little bit about what Deadweight's about? I'm sure you've been asked that many yeah. times, but uh, just a short bit. And I know and, uh, no, it's okay. Are you and Jesse? Hey, hey Jesse here. Here's here. We're doing the interview. What's going on in here? This is this what we're doing. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. So, uh, just tell us about Deadweight. What it is? Oh, hey, we got a girl in here too. Hi. Oh, 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 I'm going to go Peter. Your face is a little under. This is Michelle Corbain. Hi. Okay, so, so, Deadweight is uh, the story of Charlie Russell who, uh, as he trucks through the wilderness after a uh, viral outbreak sort of crumbles civilization or civilization falls apart. And uh, he's on a, on a journey to reunite with his girlfriend, Samantha. Um, so the story basically picks up with Charlie, follows him with the group of people that he's met up with as they, as they go through the wilderness and then through a series of sort of flashback type Scenes. We also learn about uh, Charlie and Samantha's history together, how they met, their relationship, and, and all that fun stuff. So it kind of uh, so it kind of bounces around a little bit. Character piece, oh, basically, yeah. more so than a regular horror type. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> you guys are filming right now. No, there we are. Totally. So you, you want to talk about how it's more of a character than? Horror? Oh, it's absolutely. It's uh, it, people who are looking for an action packed you know, infection movie, Yeah, that's not this movie, and it's not supposed to be this movie. This is all, I mean, the dialogue and the story, you guys wrote it, it they wrote it for dialogue and story. Okay. It's, a, it's all about the character interaction, which is unbelievable. Well, it sounds like a more old school horror piece than your more modern horror piece. Yeah, right? I'd, I'd say so. I'm, I'm, and I'm more of a fan of that stuff, too. Sure. Like Carpenter's The Thing is my favorite oh, yeah. movie ever made, yeah, so, so, and that's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's, I'd say it's definitely a lot more sure. akin to some of the. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, if people come into this looking for gore and looking for like gratuitous violence and, or sex or anything, like they're going to be real bummed. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Now, uh, it takes place in the wilderness. We're in Wisconsin. Was location uh, scouting really hard? Uh, yeah. It actually, it was. was. It was, well, I, Don't I lie. Say, it, wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. I just saw oh, uh, shit. I went out to my stepdad's house and I'm like. That looks good. And uh, then I drove down the street. Drove, that looks good. I drove you down the street. Me. <laughs> I was like neighbor's house. That looks good. We, we basically filmed the whole, all, all of the stuff that's kind of post-apocalyptic, which is about 65, 70 percent of the story. Filmed it all on four locations. Oh, nice. So nice. Well, with, with a limited yeah, budget, just cut yeah. through here. You can cut through. Yeah, just just right here. <laughs> well, I know it's a big thing. Just one thing. I gotta say, my wife's favorite line so far from the trailer is, "I gotta get to Wausau." For some reason, that just makes us laugh because we're from Wisconsin. We go, nobody goes to Wausau. But you'll see why they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. There's a reason. And didn't you post that? Were you the one that posted? That's gonna be a classic line from. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, well, thank you very much, yeah. Adam. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know, big night for you guys. So yeah. much ago. I look forward to hear, uh, watching it and reviewing it. And it's, it's probably a good, good, good review. Hopefully, so. I think this interview will get the better review. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the men's toilet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Pardon me. It's already recorded. So. Well, then, hey, we should do it. 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 The best over there. I'll be over here. <laughs> Get him in the cell. You don't necessarily need me. It's more John. John. All right. Yes. We ready? Good. John, this big night for you. Yes. Dead weight. Now, uh, you're pretty excited. Now, you, I, we were talking to Adam. He told us a little bit about the movie. Could you tell us uh, what was the hardest part that you find when doing this film? What was Ooh. like the? I know you had a lot of them, but what's like the the key that sticks out? Like, man, this was the the, the hurdle that I had to get over. I think the hardest part was probably staying fully committed and fully driven for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. I think that probably was the toughest because at um, at the end of 2010, I sold a business that I co-owned to work on dead weight full time. Sure. And so that meant for the last 15 months, I haven't had a job with income. Right. And so it's been it's been frustrating because it's been broke, you know not sleeping, stressed out all the time. 
And then two and a half years is a long time to work on one project. So just keeping that excitement and that energy was really difficult, but at the same time when you're involved with so many people, so many awesome people like we have working on the film, it's pretty easy too. Oh, that's great. And uh, do you have any recommendations like uh, for guys who are trying to start out making a movie, like say ourselves, uh, <laughs> where's a good starting point? Uh, you, you know, what, what should they really focus on first when starting out? Should they be getting the money or, or the script or, or what would you do? I would say first things first, if you want to do it, you got to be committed and you got to know that it's going to be really tough, it's going to be challenging, you're going to want to give up, you're going to want to cry, you're going to want to scream, but you've got to get past that. So I would say that's the first thing. But script is a big thing. Don't worry about money right away. You know, don't worry about money, but I would say when writing your script, keep in mind what you think you might be able to afford, mm -hmm. where you know you don't want to have cars exploding everywhere and stuff like that if you're only going to be shooting with a couple thousand dollars or whatever. So. Start with the script because every film needs a script and the script is the foundation. So I think that's a good place to start and work on that and then start thinking about who you know that have this location, that have this talent, that have this skill. And especially independently, you got to pool as many resources as you can to pull off your film. Great. Well, thanks. And uh, just one more thing. Where can they find this after here? I know Oshkosh mm -hmm. is not your only stop. It's, it's just the starting point. Right. right. Yeah. We. Um, well, CarryingDeadWeight.com is our website, and on there you can find all the info about the movie. You can also go to the store where you can purchase the DVDs, t-shirts, posters, all the goodies that we have. But then on Friday, April 13th, we'll be, host, or we'll be part of a panel at C2E2 in Chicago talking about what it takes to create a horror project in the community. And then the next day, April 14th, we'll be screening at the Chicago Fear Fest. Oh, so, exciting. Yeah, that's so that's our, that's our first film festival, so that, we're really, really excited the, about that. That's the one where they're showing the Hatchet 2 and they're showing and Rex, Rex 3. 3. Oh, and, man. And Wanda the Dead. And, uh, oh, Wanda the Dead. Yeah, Wanda the Dead will be there. So, that big crowd for you guys. Yeah, Definitely. so we're really, really excited about that. But then we're we're hitting the road, and we're going to be going to a lot of different conventions. And Jess Ader stepping in. Jess, come on. Come on, say hi. Say hi. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going? <laughs> Well, well, I know it's a big night for you and all, so we're going to let you go, but I appreciate hey, you taking the time. Thank you guys very much. And, and thank we'll, you. I have paint on my hands, so you don't want to... Oh, no, that's fine. And we'll, we'll chat afterwards, too. Yeah, that's good.